Island back with actress and dog lover Olivia Munn. Also joining us now is one of America's top gearheads. He's hosted a whole slew of NASCAR shows. He's also covered the Kentucky Derby and the Olympics as a correspondent for NBC Sports. Now he's switching gears, get it, as host of the new smash hit game show Floor is Lava on Netflix. Check it out. With Gerald's basketball background, netting that last leap should be no problem. Houston, we've got a problem. Ah, no! All right, y'all. Well, let's bring Rutledge Wood on in here. Hey, what's up, Rutledge? How you doing? Hi, guys. I'm great. How y'all doing? Hey, Rutledge. I'm good. Well, I've got Olivia Munn as well. I was like, I'm going to keep her in because we, we both are into games. And obviously, this is awesome. Floor is Lava is a hit. So, Rutledge, like, your show is ridiculous, but it's also insanely popular. So tell everybody how it works. All right, so basically we have a gigantic uh, room filled with magic lava. And I'm, so you're probably wondering where do you get magic lava? Uh, Craigslist, and I got a great deal on about 80,000 gallons or so. Um, and we have these insane kind of rooms. It might be a kitchen, it might be a planetarium, and you basically have to get from one side to the other using your team and whoever gets there the fastest with the most people wins ten thousand dollars so i know you two love games i feel like y'all would be naturals at it but it's um it's pretty I hard. Love it. it is probably pretty hard the, uh, challenge accepted rutledge <laughs> <laughs> so wait olivia did you want to ask rutledge anything about the game anything i i want to know like where how do you guys come up with the the different obstacles all the time so i feel like that's one of the biggest challenges how do you constantly keep it new and fresh kind of like ninja warrior-esque right sure yeah well i mean let's be honest let's give credit where credit to you without you olivia i don't think stuff like this would exist because you re i mean they could have called g4 olivia but that's really <laughs> besides the point okay so that right. being said <laughs> um it was it was this incredible gal named megan mcgrath she had this great idea that it said let's take this game that we all played as kids and try to make it fresh and fun and new. Because like, um, Kelly's obviously in like a world's hyper studio, but like Olivia, when I see your living room, I already think you're, you're kind of at an advantage. You've got chairs. Uh, I don't know if that wall stuff could take my weight, but it might take yours. Like, it's just a game that anyone could play at home. So it was oh trying to make God. all these kind of secret things in there and just make it fun for everybody. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Well, Rutledge and Olivia played this game as a kid. So, what house games did you play as a kid? Ooh. Now, keep in mind, I grew up in Alabama, so like uh, our games were I love a little the more Southern limited. feel today. Yes. Okay. Keep right? going. Y'all yeah. know our our games are like who? Does anyone here own a ball? You do. Let's play that game. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we played. My parents had a long hallway, and we played dodgeball with. We would take like a bunch of tube socks and ball them up. And we would like line them up in the center. You'd run, but I don't know about y'all. There was something about being a kid and being on carpet and having things hurled at you at a high velocity. I got hurt way more often playing that game than I should have. But that's well, what, that was like, kind of the fun of it. That reminds me of when um, the game that we play all the time as children who didn't have money, um, which was get in a blanket, everybody into a, the blanket on top, like all five kids, the top of the stairs that are carpeted, and then just. Yes, take it down. Take it down like a sled. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We tried that. I tried that in the laundry hamper, and it went pretty good. But I was just big enough as a kid. There's about a fourth stair down, and I just sort of darted. Yeah. But yeah. that's you know you live and learn. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so Relish, I understand the game has made you pretty popular with your girls, right? Yeah, it's fun. You know, I've got three daughters, and y'all know like there are some projects that you do that your friends and family are, like really excited about. But for my daughters, Elsie, Millie, and Hattie, Elsie is 12, Millie's nine, Hattie's six. They've never had something like this where they could be that excited. And I knew it was a big deal because Elsie now at 12, young, beautiful young lady, she's, she's texting some friends. And so this boy that I know that kind of has a crush on her texted her and, and the boy was like, hey, uh, is that your dad on that Netflix show, Floor is Lava? And she's like, yeah. And he said, cool. Have you seen all the shows? And she reads that text to me like, he asked if I saw the shows, Dad. <laughs> of course I saw the shows. What, how am I supposed to answer? And it was this incredible moment because I thought like, 
That's my girl. You bet. Did I see the shows? It's my dad. Of course I saw the show. So it's really my fun to me. Don't, I mean, some kids don't watch their parents stuff. They're like over it. <laughs> Well, and let's be honest, I've not been the hit factory, Kelly, that, that you have. So I don't, like, I'm sure after, like, oh, my mom's got another number young. one. They don't, they don't care what I do. <laughs> but one day, like, one day there's going to be this real thing where they're like, oh, my gosh, yeah, your mom's a hit maker. Apps, she she's like Midas Touch. This is amazing. <laughs> so for right now, it's pretty cool for the kids to have that kind of thing, you know? My, oh, my dogs watch all of my things. <laughs> yes. Huge fan. I am a hit with them. <laughs> All right, wait, Olivia. So you're as competitive as I am. I hear. Um, I'll bet. You know, I might know a little bit more about Super Hoops than you. I know you played Superhero, but I was just wondering Ooh. if you want to play a little game to find out because Rutledge kind of challenged us a minute ago. I'm just saying. I'm really bad. I have like a horrible memory of these things. Okay, that's perfect. I'm actually, I'm actually slightly terrified as well because while I do love the movies and I love like growing up with them, I don't know that I'm gonna nail this. So watch us both epically fail together. <laughs> Wait, Rutledge, will you help us out by refereeing? Uh, yeah. You know what? I I had a minute just then. I just wrote a few questions. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back with Olivia Munn and Flora's Lava host, Rutledge Wood. We're going to play a special version of Rutledge's game show right now. This is called, what is it called? Let's show your sign. Show your sign. It's called Olavia. Olavia, get it? All right, here's how it works. Rutledge will read each of us a trivia question, one at a time. If we get it right, we get a point. But if Olivia or I get it wrong, we have to take a shot of lava or a sip, AKA hot sauce that we have here at our Zoom desk. And whoever gets the most points wins. So, and in honor of Olivia and me, because I love superheroes too, all the trivia questions are super, superhero themed. So here we go. Are you guys ready? This feels so official. Like that was absolute official game show. Re that was so impressive. Lidge, I'm in it. Okay, well in you it can win, Lidge. This is Olavia, go. Here we go. Okay. Question one, this one's for Olivia. Which film started off the current Marvel superhero universe? Iron Man. Oh, that's correct. She's on the board. Hey, we Kelly, I'm just gonna drink my water, not the hot sauce. <laughs> oh. oh, show off, okay. Robin I love Olivia Munn, okay. A little bit of a flex there. Here we go, okay. question two, okay. Kelly. Oh, God. Uh, what weapon does Thor carry? Oh, a hammer. You know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of my milk, Olivia. Oh, oh wow. I'm lactose wow. intolerant. Me too, mine's almond. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boy, if y'all get, if y'all get oat. right. Yeah, I was gonna say, y'all better get right with Oatly. That stuff's amazing. Here we go, question three. Uh, Olivia, Olavia, uh, how many actors have played the role of Peter Parker slash Spider-Man in the live action films? Toby McGuire, Andrew Garfield, the new British kid. He's British, right? Is that really is that really important right now? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how my mind works. Ma um, let's just assume then, yes, he's British. And there was, well, those are the first three, but then there's more after that. I'm gonna say live action is TV and everything. It's gotta be more, let's say it's gonna be like 10 or 15 or 20 or, um, 10 and 12. You are totally taking this hot sauce, chick. Three, drink up. It, it was, was three. three. Yes, you had it, then you, you doubted yourself. I, the thing I didn't know he was tricking you on if that new one, the animated one counted. Cause I didn't, well, I didn't know he meant like, like back in the, in the, in the, like in the, in the olden days, was there another one? I would have given you four, but 15 is just, it's not, that's not four's neighbor. Okay, First of all, so. I love your vat of hot sauce. By the way, this came from you, Kelly Clarkson. I know, I just, okay, well, I love that we sent you the pandemic, ver the Costco version of, of hot sauce. Like, we wanted you to not run out in the next we got this. We got this. Uh -huh. guys sent me shot glasses. Drink up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boy, just. It's not really slow, is this enough? You, you can literally sip, because I literally have to sing after this. I can't, I can't shoot this. <sighs> You're fine. Go, ooh, there it is. Chase it. Oh, God. Kelly, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go, question number four. How did the Fantastic Four get their superpowers? Um, I'm gonna say, I mean, I've seen kind of a poster for it. So um, I'm gonna say from, from the environment. 
Something happened with the environment. Okay, okay, yes, you've got something that's very vague. Can you roll that ball down the hill a little more? Okay, that was a good guess. Wow, mm -hmm. um, something happened with the environment. There was, there was, um, there was an explosion. Could because be, yes. Because of something, and, and, and there were scientists testing stuff and it got out, and then it hit them, and then they were affected, and then they, they blew up. And every Let me check with the judges. Olivia, do you buy most of that? I mean, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I have to having seen them. I think that she did a pretty good job, and I would give it to her. I believe that they crashed back to Earth. Cosmic or space radiation. So really, you oh, were there. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't that get it. close. Was, okay, oh. all right. I felt like you did. You basically, like, there was a thing, and then there was a problem with it. That, that feels, that's integrity, Kelly. That's what you're feeling right now. I appreciate it. Oh you, need you need so a pickleback. You need a pickleback. It's so spicy. I'm gonna start a Nickelback cover band with pickles called Pickleback. That means All right. a lot. Oh my Good God, try. this is so hot. I All know. Right. Uh, Olivia, we only got question for, time for a couple more. Here we go. Uh, which superhero does Bruce Banner transform into? I know this one. Of course you do. Because you missed the last one. You gotta know this one. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. He was a, just assume he was a, a tax accountant and then sometimes he got different. Really just different. Turnt, as the kids say. I don't know why Bruce Banner is. Bruce Banner, um, did you see the- Oh, yeah, no, I know, it's Hulk. Yes! Yeah, there we go. Because, I don't know why, but hey. You got, I know, I took some milk for you because my mouth is still on fire. <laughs> All right, Kelly, we're gonna we're gonna give you one last one. Oh, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna pick. Uh, what would Groot say if he wanted to tell you he was hungry? Groot. Exactly. He would just say Groot, because that's all he says. That's his one He'd word. Say, I am that's Groot. A good question. I love I Guardians of the Galaxy. I love I love them. Yeah. Anyway, that was awesome. Olivia, well done. My mouth is on fire still. So you win. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for playing. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.